the painting came up from the idea that I was interested in the Zaratuman met, the, the history of Zaratuman met. They, they were talking about the spirit and how they capture the spirit and how they change the spirit. I'm trying to think how, it, how the system works that they change spirit. The only living thing that is doing the mat is the lady. It's not the mat, it's about the lady. The mat can do any magic because it's just, a, you know, it's just a lift and it's dead and it's, it can't do any magic. So the only thing I think, the, the magic thing is the hen from the lady. Well, she got the spirit in her, so which changed the spirit from bad spirit to good spirit from the finger of the, the lady. Because the lady is the one who's got the spirit, not the man. It's just the lady, the lady who did it. So the way she believes the man and the way she, you know, give everything to the man, the, the powerful it is, so it changed the spirit. Uh, from my experience about painting, um, sometimes when I do my painting, you kind of like a, a piece of myself in, in the painting. That's uh, how the, like the spirit is connected in, the, in my painting. That, that was my point of view. And uh, the thing is, I, it's like a connection between the, the artist and the, the artworks. So the same thing happens to the artist as, as for myself. You change the empty canvas into like something beautiful. When like somebody sells a canvas into you, eh, just give away one dollar canvas, it's okay. Then you just put your fingers into the canvas and what happened? It's gonna be like very expensive more than something than you believe. Uh from my point of view as a, as a Christian, if you want to change somebody, you know, if you if you want to change somebody to be a good person, so um you have to be very powerful to change him. So it's, it's going to be take a while to change him. So for, but to change the spirit, it's totally different kind of story. So um, it have, you have to be very powerful to change the spirit.